Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 10.3 from study group book and the question is find I0. I0 is this current here using mass analysis and we are given the circuit already in FASOR. So let's just jump into it and let's label all the loops. Maybe because this is I0, I will name this as I0 and this one here. We'll also name it I1, maybe I1. And the last current here. We don't need to name this because the value of this will be 10 angle 0 ampere. 10 angle 0 degrees ampere. Okay, and now what can we do here? We can do KVL at I0 and I1. Let's do that. First, let's do KVL at I0. We will start at this capacitor here, which is minus J2. We multiply it by I0 and plus 8 multiplied by I0. And then plus this one here will be J4. But we multiply it by what? I0 minus I1. I0 minus I1. And all of that will equal to 0. Because KPL said that the sum of voltage in a loop will equal to 0. Okay, now let's factor out the I0 here. And we will get 8 minus J2. 8 minus J2 plus J4. And that will multiply it by I0. And then minus J4 multiplied by I1. All of that will equal to 0. I think we can just save this equation here as equation number 1. Now let's do another KVL but in loop VI1. Okay, let's do KVL at I. Okay, we will start at this voltage source. The current here is flowing from negative to positive. We will have minus 50. And the angle will be 30 degrees. And then plus 6 ohm here. We multiply it by I1. Minus this one here will be 10 angle 0. So I will have 10 angle zero degrees and then what can we do next this inductor here so i'll have plus j4 and then i1 minus i0 minus i0 all of that will equal to zero okay probably we just move this to the right hand side and now i will have this i1 here I will have 6i1 minus 60 angle 0 degrees and then plus j4 of i1 and then minus j4 of i0 and on the right hand side we will have 50 angle 30 degrees. Okay, so far so good. Now let's take out this I1 here. So we will have 6 plus J4. And this is multiplied by I1. And then minus J4 I0. And that will equal to 50 angle 30 degrees plus 60 angle 0 degrees. So now maybe let's just switch the place here. So we'll have minus J4 of I0. Yeah, I0. Then plus 6 plus J4 of I1. Then on the right hand side, we still have that. 50 angle 30 degrees plus 60 angle 0 degrees. Okay, let's save that as equation number 2. So we will have 
two equation with two variables we should have to we should be able to solve that let's rewrite that as our matrix here so this one will be eight minus j2 plus j4 and then i will have minus j4 here and this one will be minus j4 and then this one will be 6 plus j4 and so we will have i0 and i1 okay and that will equal to this one here is 0 and this one here is 50 angle 30 degrees plus 60 angle zero degrees okay so yeah this is the matrix mm, now let's do calculation remember that we can calculate i0 and i1 by using Kramer's rule so if we name all these numbers here as a b c d and then i0 and i1 is here and on the right hand side we will have e and f what can we have from here we can have that i0 is equal to delta 1 divided by delta what is delta 1 delta 1 is the determinant of this matrix here but the ac column is replaced by ef so we'll have ef and then here we will have pd and on the denominator we still have a b c d and plugging the formula for determinant we will have ed minus pf divided by ad minus pc so now let's plug a, B, C, D, E, and F to calculator. Let's do that. Let's do complex number from here. Then for this one, I will have 8 minus 2i plus 4i. Let's store that as A. Okay. And then this one, minus J4 minus 4i let's store that as b and then again minus 4i let's store it again as c and then 4 plus j4 6 plus j4 let's store that as d and then let's store 0 here as e And then let's store this number here, 50 angle 30 plus 60 angle 0 SF. Okay, now so far so good. Now let's plug in this formula here into calculator. So we'll have ED. I mean. ED minus PF and divided by AD minus BC. Okay, and we need to write this as Pasor. So, what is that? We will get 5.97, okay, 5.97, and what is the angle? The angle will be 65.45, 65.45, and the unit will be degrees for the phase, and all of them will have the unit of ampere. Okay, I think I did not make any mistakes, yeah, this is the answer for i0 we do not need to calculate i1 because that is not us in the problem yeah 
thank you for watching and bye bye do not forget to like and subscribe